All right, so the plan is to set the cooler, uh, oil cooler and the power steering cooler in front of the evaporator. Uh, so let me turn this around and I'll show you what I'm working All on. All right, so this is a kind of a universal Durrell um, cooler, 6AN, uh, male fittings on, on this side here. So pretty simple. Um, Got to figure out how to mount that. And then here is the cooler. All right, so this cooler is like 20 by 6, okay? This is the same exact cooler I had on my C5. Um, and I tracked that cart quite often, and I was pretty successful. The cooler actually worked. Um, here's the thing. This is not a name brand cooler, all right? But it is a dual pass. I did verify that this, I'm sorry, this tank has a bar right in the middle. So, um, I mean, it should be a dual pass, right? But naturally, um, you don't know when you're buying uh, kind of off-brand stuff off eBay, right? And that's what, this, that's what it is. Here's the funny part, is that there's about three or four different brands that I would bet my paycheck on that just basically rebrand this and sell it. And one of those brands, I think, is... Uh, Mishi, oh, Mishimoto? I don't, what, oh, God dang it. I don't know which one that is. Um, anyways, real popular um, brand, uh, but, um, and then there's two other ones that have big R's painted on them. They're silver or black or whatever. Anyways, this was only like, this was under 100 bucks. Um, 10 a.m., male fittings. Um, so anyways, I'll stop gabbing. Kind of show you what I'm doing. All right, so if this looks familiar, this piece of angle here, it's because this is the same piece of angle that I cut off of the front of the, the inside of the uh, radiator core support. All right, so just repurpose this. I'm going to weld it. I put little bolt reliefs for the evaporator, but I'm gonna weld it here. Probably there, there, not there, because that's the evaporator here. In here so i'm kind of i'm going to plug weld it there and uh, that's going to be fixed i think this is sturdy enough that it'll hold just fine that along with this bad boy which is a big old honking piece of angle that i'm going to put on a diet i'm going to trim this up and this is eighth inch so i'm going to be able to remove a lot of this and it's going to retain its rigidity so i'm going to try to put this here i'm going to have to put some tabs right here catch and then somehow or another I'll probably put this right above it. I don't see why not. Um, the only problem again is that this is the only passageway for uh, fluid lines. So I gotta fit two 10 AN lines through here and two 6 AN lines through here, which is not gonna happen, which means you know what, I have to probably modify that, which I'm perfectly fine with at this rate. I've already took on or bitten off quite a bit. So what's a little bit more? Uh, anyways, let's get to work. All right, so the last little bit, Kind of fabbing up these little mounts for the uh, power steering cooler. It's going to sit on top. I will uh, finish tacking it up and get it all assembled and show you what I come up with. Okay, the finished project. Pro project. Product. Oh my gosh. Hold on. There's a little adjusting still left to do. So, <clears throat> just a little button head bolt. Little 3 16 bolt. Um, used a piece of uh, eighth inch. I'm gonna powder coat all of this. I'm gonna take the frame and everything off of the evaporator and go get it all powder coated. But a couple of plug wells on my little side, on the little bar that goes across, it holds everything. A couple pieces of angle with a nut welded on the back. Real simple stuff, right? Just it's just a matter of doing it. But the whole idea was to keep as much pass through as possible. Um, that's why this, the bracket that goes across doesn't have any like, like the angle bent down to weld to that bracket is the only thing that, that folds down. There's no actual angle. Um, it's just a big thick, you know, it, with it all bolted together, it's tight and it's uh, pretty sturdy. So 
Anyways, that's pretty much it on the coolers. I'm pretty stoked, happy with it. We'll uh, put it in the car, and then uh, you know, at some point I'll break this down, probably sooner than later, and just get it finished so I can check that off my list. So, all right, well that's the coolers. All finished up with them. Turned out nice. Put it in the car. Um, I still have to modify the core support to, um, you know, for the 10 and 6 a.m. lines that are be going that are going to be going through the. Uh, the course port. Anyways, enough gab. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll keep plugging away. I've got that to do on the course report. Um, I don't even know what's next. So um, I'll let you guys know, but I uh, got a few videos uh, stockpiled. So uh, enjoy and thanks everybody for watching.